Hi, my name is Janelli, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own CO2 generator. So you're going to need a few things. Um, you can pretty much purchase any of this stuff at your local grocery store. Um, I prefer Walmart. You can pretty much get everything in one spot. We have pure cane sugar, some dried yeast, which you can find in the baking aisle, a couple bottles, one one liter, one two liter, a couple of measuring utensils, an exacto knife, some silicone sealant, and some aquarium tubing. Okay, so first you're going to take your two liter bottle, then you're going to take your exacto knife, poke a hole or cut a perfect hole on the top of the lid. Just twist it. So I've got two of our bottles here. This is our two liter and then we also have our one liter. I've already cut one hole in the two liter and then two holes in the one liter. We're going to attach our first tube into the top part of the two liter bottle. And then we're going to stick the end of it down at the bottom. <clears throat> just far enough so that it will reach water once we fill this up. You notice we have a second hole. I'm gonna take this tubing, stick this in, and then this is where the CO2 is gonna come out from. You're gonna need 3 fourths of a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of dried yeast, and six cups of hot or warm water. Okay, so we filled it up with the mixture here. I'm gonna cap it with a cap that doesn't have the hole. And then we're just gonna shake it. It's like the shake weight. So we wanna make sure that all the particles have been dissolved. Now we're gonna unscrew the top. And then put the one that we poked a hole into. Then I filled this with water as well. Okay, so the first tubing goes into the second bottle and touches that water, and then the second tubing doesn't touch the water, it starts from the top, and that is where the CO2 comes from. And that's my tutorial on how to make CO2.